We continued following the developments out of Rockton, where a massive fire is still burning nearly 24 hours after an explosion at a chemical plant. Yeah, that fire has been burning since just after 7 o'clock yesterday morning. Rockton police say residents within one mile from the plant should evacuate, and everybody within three miles should be wearing a mask. Fire officials will let the fire burn itself out, which could take days. They're concerned that water could run off with chemicals into the Rock River, which is nearby. Glenn Marshall is keeping an eye on the Rockton fire from nearby South Beloit, and he joins us live with more. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning. It's pretty dark right now, but if you look just beyond these trees right here behind me, you can still see the smoke coming from that chemical plant. Like you guys said, it started yesterday around 7 a.m., and people were telling us that you could see the flames and the smoke billowing in the sky all the way as far as Elgin yesterday. Take a look at this scene video from uh, yesterday morning. The massive inferno has engulfed what is left of the Chem Tool Incorporated chemical plant on Prairie Hill Road. When it comes to how it started, officials are still investigating that and Yesterday around 7 a.m., seven employees, 70 employees, I should say, were evacuated. Amazingly, no one was injured. The Illinois Emergency Management Agency believes antifreeze, anti uh, nitrogen, sulfuric acid are among the chemicals that are burning right now. The uh, fire crews stopped using water to fight the flames to prevent chemical runoff in the nearby Rock River. Fire prompted in an emergency evacuation for people in a one mile radius of the chemical plant, causing about a thousand people to be affected, including those in the Rockton's downtown area. Health officials are recommending those who are within three miles of the plant to wear face coverings when outside. Governor J.B. Pritzker has activated the state's emergency response plan, sending multiple agencies to help those in need. But as you can imagine, seeing this up close was frightening situation for some of the residents who live near their chemical plant. Brian Taylor, a Rockton resident, explained what he saw outside of his home. I don't know if it was an airplane flying over, but when I stepped outside, I saw the, the smoke plumes coming up and debris was falling from the sky and it's everywhere. Huge pieces coming down. Yeah, and we were told that 45 different agencies were out here at one point yesterday helping out people, some of those even coming from southern Wisconsin. As when this fire is going to stop, well, officials are saying it could take days before these flames are burned out. For now, we're live in Rockton. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.